Yeah, I'm like, just ignore her. She's a little mad right now. I moved him in the sunlight and now he has friends. Have you ever wanted the pot that your plant is in to not only be cute, but alive? Well, if so, you're in luck because a company called Plancio made this a reality. With a smart pet planter, that's a mouthful, that can be your friend slash companion that you can keep on your desk or just on a shelf. And just like a lot of my other AI robots, this thing has touch sensors. It also makes a lot of really cute faces and it just keeps you company throughout the day. In today's video, we're gonna be unboxing, setting up, testing, and reviewing the Plancio robot. With that being said, let's get to potting. Cue the channel intro. But first, let's see what it comes with. First things first, let's get this thing open. Once opened up, you've got the little user manual. You've got a little accessory box, which comes with white paving pebbles, colored paving pebbles, and a USB type C charging cable. So basically this box is to make it look cute and to charge it up. You've also got this little helpful guide that gives you a walkthrough of the app. And also you can scan this QR code, which is gonna take you right to a YouTube video that's gonna tell you all about some tips and tricks to help you with your new Plancio robot. But you're on this video, so you don't need that. Finally, you've got the Plancio himself. He feels pretty solid. I will say out of the box, the portion that you put the plant in looks kind of small. I guess this is just gonna be for small plants. It also comes with this little measuring cup. So that is everything that it comes with. All right, time to put a plant inside and get it all set up. Grasp your mandrake firmly. You pull it sharply up out of the box. You probably need to download the app. After downloading the Toya Smart app, you'll enter your information and be greeted by the home screen. Before proceeding, you'll wanna go ahead and pot your plant in the top of the robot. Then add about half the dirt into the plastic pot and place your plant inside. Add more dirt so that your plant's roots are covered. After, you can add either the colored rocks or the plain white ones to your pot, depending on the aesthetic you're going for. Then, just place the pot into the top of the robot and voila, you are ready to get back into the app. With your app starting up, you'll want to turn your robot on from the back and follow its on-screen instructions to connect via Bluetooth. You'll also want to give your plant a little water. Now, I won't go through every setting in the app here because we'd be here for the length of a Saguaro's lifespan, but I do want to finish out showing you how to set it up and touch on a few cool features in app and on the robot before we jump into the review section and explore this little robot a little bit further. So after connecting your Plancio Ivy robot to the app, you'll want to add the type of plant you're putting inside of Ivy. For us, this was a raindrop peperomia. Now, if your plant isn't in the app, don't worry, you can choose the closest plant to the one you've got. It should work fine. After that, your plant should be good to go and look how frickin' cute it is. Aww. Now, of course, there are a ton of settings in app for you to monitor water status, how well it's getting ambient light, air temperature, humidity, and tons more monitoring and customization options for your robot. But to break these down and get a more holistic view on how good or bad this little planter robot really is, I thought I would reach out to one of my wife's friends who has had Ivy for over six months now to ask her all of the questions that most of us would be really curious about after growing a plant in one of these robots long term. Thank you so much for being here. Introduce yourself and how long you've had the Plancio. Yeah, so uh, I'm Greta and uh, this is Rosie and I have had her since September. Yeah, so it was super easy to set up. App is actually called Tuya, T-U-Y-A. Really easy setup. There is some configurations within the app that I felt like were not as user friendly. For all of the basic things for the plant, it's super simple setup. Yeah, so you can tell it, it might still be in some like stages of them, you know, fixing things and there's just certain things within the app. So for example, you are a little limited to which plants you can select in there. So if you have a plant that might not be in there, that may cause some issues. But one of the things that I've kind of run into is when you switch plants. So when you go from one plant to another plant, it'll say, you know, you've had this plant going for 152 days so like that's the original plant that I got but once that one out grew it and I switched it over and I might be getting a little ahead here but just trying to figure out within the app how I can get the number of days I've had this specific plant in there 
Yeah, so succulent, it's pretty general, you know, on those, but then um, it did have rosemary, which is what I have in here right now. So it does break down a few of them, but there's just not a huge, obviously there's millions of plants, you know, so you are kind of limited to select what kind of plant you would want to have in there. I guess if you were to get a plant that wasn't inside the app, you'd probably want to find, like maybe Google and find like what plant is closest to this kind of plant and then set it on the setting. Yes, exactly. That's exactly what I had to do. First plant that I had in there was this little guy and he quickly outgrew it. So there wasn't this particular cacti. Um, so we just put in succulent for it. And I mean, this thing grew quick. It was great for getting it to the growth to where it is to where we had to repot it. But we had to just put succulent in for this guy. So that might be kind of like a con to it because then if your plant gets too big, then you can no longer use them and you gotta get a new plant in there. Yes. Now, the great thing is, is how I kind of solve this is I do not have a green thumb. Like I love plants, but I kill everything. So I figured if I got this little guy or gal that it would tell you exactly how to take care of it. So just within the pattern of, okay, so I know it was asking me to water it once a week. I know it was asking for it to have this amount of sunlight. So when it does outgrow this and it comes time to repot it, you already have an idea of how to take care of that plant. So I feel like it kind of teaches you if you're not good with plants how you can take care of them and keep them alive without this thing yeah that's awesome i mean tiff can attest my, i'm terrible at taking care of plants <laughs> i kill everything that's in this office so i'm <laughs> good i i am not good with plants but i love them which is why i wanted this and it's cute you know <laughs> Yeah, it's really cute. Another thing that's really cool about this is if you don't want this little face on here, you can put your own photos on here. So it can act also as like a picture frame and it'll rotate through the photos. Something else I really like about it is there's little sensors here on the side. So when you touch these sensors, your plant reacts to it. So that's really cute to me. I don't think the novelty has worn off. I do feel like it's very well built. There are a few little works with it though sometimes in order to switch screens here you have to touch this front so like it'll go through you can have the weather on here sorry my background but sometimes it will get stuck on one of the screens and you'll keep touching it and it won't go to the next screen so sometimes it is a little sensitive but well, thank you so much for joining in yeah. and, and hopping on on a saturday morning yeah no worries awesome well, anything thank for you the so bestie much. yeah exactly <laughs> Okay, now Greta covered most of the Q&As we might be wondering about owning a robot like this long term. But I did want to add in a couple pros and cons that my wife and I noticed after just owning it for a few weeks. But let's get the negative out of the way first and let's start with the cons. Now con number one is that it has a small pot. I mentioned this earlier on in the video, but it is a little bit annoying that if you had a plant that was any bigger than the one that we planted, you'd probably need a bigger Plancio robot. My second con is that the robot doesn't have any speakers, which means that it doesn't make any sounds. Now, if you've seen videos on my YouTube channel before, you'll know all the ones behind me that aren't currently turned on generally have faces like the Plancio Ivy robot does, only they all make cute noises, you can talk with them, and they're just overall more interactive because of the voice component. However, Plancio doesn't have this, and I get why it's supposed to just sit on your shelf, but it would be nice to be able to turn the voice on or off and be able to talk with it like it's another robot companion like the ones behind me. Now, con number three is that I think that they could definitely stand to put more more plants into the app for you to learn how to take care of. I'm not even entirely sure that the plant we chose is the plant that we actually have. It just looked the most similar. So in the future, Plantio, if you're watching this, I really hope that you add more plants in. But with the cons out of the way, let's talk about the pros that this little robot has because I think overall, it's a pro to buy this robot. Now, number one pro is that overall, it is awesome at helping you keep your plant alive. I've only noticed it for three weeks, but it seems to be doing really great with letting us know when it needs to be watered when it needs more sunlight and things like that. Also, after talking with Greta, she's owned it for six months and it's helped her keep her plants alive. So the technology works, which is what you want out of a product that you buy. Number two is that even though it doesn't have sound, which I mentioned in the cons, it is pretty interactive. It has a ton of different facial expressions and just emojis that it can do on its little screen. And I think that in itself is a super plus along with helping you take care of your plant. This is just a fun and functional little robot. So with my main cons and my main pros out of the way, 
way. Would I recommend this? 100% I would. So far, this robot planter has been really fun. I will keep you guys updated in the future through YouTube Shorts and possibly a updated review sometime in the near future. If you guys want to pick up your very own Plancio robot, otherwise known as the Ivy robot, I will leave a link down in the description below. Check that out. And I want to give a huge shout out to my wife and Greta for helping me out with this video. You guys made this video happen. You guys are awesome. And if robots are your thing, of course I do a lot of that on this channel, I'm going to throw a video right up here that you can check out from last week where I threw an entire robot party with most of the robots that you see up here on the shelf. I'm Eric with Eric's Tech World, a place where tech and adventure meet. If you have the time, check out all the links in the description below because I also have a sci-fi book that you should totally pick up. Speaking of, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.